What's going on, Internet? My name's Ian Hagen. I'm a computer nerd. Since we're all locked inside because of coronavirus, I thought I would produce a small series of videos or a series of small videos just about how you can use your computer a little bit better. First up today, my top five Gmail tips. Gmail is a web app that you might have heard of. Number five, Gmail keyboard shortcuts. The quickest way to get around Gmail is using the keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts aren't on by default, we've got to turn them on. So go into your Gmail, go to this little sprockety guy up here, settings, that's what that represents, and now choose settings. You're going to get all of this stuff, ignore most of it, and come down until you get to here. Keyboard shortcuts, obviously I've already got it on, power user, but if you don't, just turn them on, scroll down to the bottom, and hit save changes. Now you can use your keys, so J and K go up and down. S, make something into a star, or not. You can hit enter to read something. Axios, hmm, informative. If you want to add a label to something, just press the L key. Not bad. Not bad at all, Gmail. Go back to the inbox, GI. There's a whole lot of keyboard shortcuts under the hood. If you want to see them all, are you ready for this? Just type a question mark. Boom! Number four. Finding things. As you'd expect from the makers of Google, Gmail is exceptionally good at letting you find things. One of the things that I like to find is really big attachments that people have sent me that I don't want anymore. So let's imagine that our Gmail storage was actually getting quite near its limit and we needed to find some big attachments to get rid of to give us some more sweet space without handing over our hard-earned cash to Google. We all know that we can search up here in this search mail uh, field but there's a little button over here that you might not have noticed. Show search options. Tap on that and you're going to see down here all of these great things. Size, greater than. Size, greater than. Five megabytes. Hey, there's some attachments that are taking up space. But you've come to this video expecting some really clever tricks. And here is one. You can actually search by the attachment name. You go up to search mail, type in file name, a colon, and then the type of attachment that you're after, in this case we're going to look for an mp4, and there they are, all two mp4s that I sent to myself just for the purposes of this demonstration. Number three, I bet you didn't know that Gmail let you secure send things, a la Snapchat or Instagram disappearing stories. Here's how you do it. I'm going to compose a new message to myself, I don't want to annoy anyone else with this garbage. <laughs> Now let's think of a really clandestine, super secret message that we don't want anyone else to know about. I love you. It's true. And you'll notice down here, there's a little padlock with a time on it. Turn confidential mode on or off. Now I'm going to make sure that this expires in a day. You can even protect it with an SMS passcode to make sure that it's going directly to the recipient and no one else. And only the person with that phone will be able to open that message. And when they do open that message, you'll see that they can't forward it, they can't copy it. Look, I can't copy that. I can just read it. And then it will expire and disappear like it was never there. Number two. So, you know, when you're looking at an email and you think, I need to respond to this, but I can't respond to it right now. That's where snooze comes in. Let's look at our keyboard shortcuts and see what that button is. B for b snooze. If I type B when I'm looking at an email, I get this little guy, snooze until. Gives you some a few suggested times and dates, or you can select your own one. And it's just going to make it disappear until that time and date roll around again, and it's going to pop right back up into your inbox. It's simple. It's effective. Number one. My number one coronavirus Gmail COVID-19 tip for Thursday the 19th of March is undo send. If I make an email, send that to myself. Who else would I send it to? You are an idiot. I really mean it. This is not an error. And press send. I've got an undo button. Phew. <laughs> that was lucky. Now, you can actually change the amount of time that that undo button is up there. 
go back to your sprocket up here, settings, go to settings under the settings, quite near the top, undo send. The cancellation period is five seconds. Maybe you want to up that a little bit and feel the kind of person who has regrets within 20 seconds, maybe make it 20 seconds, for example. Don't forget to press save changes. And there you have it. Ian's top five Gmail tips for today. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you really like it. Tell me if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing <laughs> or not. And I will, uh, I'm going to make more anyway. So actually, you know, if you don't want to see any more, then you know what to do. This is Ian. Peace out.